Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap of the new episode of Jojo no Kima no Boku and Daimyo Wakuda Kenai, which is on episode 33, or you could call it Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Daimyo is Unbreakable. Now, this episode right here, seems like to me a lot of things has been going on with a lot of stuff, you know? So if anything else, I'd like to start off with like a Rohan Kishi... Rohan or something? Kishibe? Decides to like him look at the guy's back, but apparently after what happened, we have to it that the guy ends up dying while his back is opened up, and apparently Rohan is attacked by a stand by a stand. But apparently this stand is known to be an independent stand, and in order for him to get rid of it, he has to show it to someone's back. But if he does that, it will happen the same thing. The same thing will happen to like um Rohan. What happened to the guy who had his back torn up or something, you know? So it looks like to me that Stan is independent and is trying to tell Rohan to burn those pictures. And of course, like, it does show later where Rohan is trying to call like um, call for help, you know? And let them know about the Stan. But help is not on the way currently. As we have to it, um, our boy Jotaro talks to us talks to us talks to his father about what's been happening, you know, about having to find the victims and then the, and possibly find, like, um, Kira as well. And so forth, you know? And we have to, uh, when Josuke ends up clashing against, like, um, the guy with the stand known to be, like, um, known to, like, turn people into paper if they show any signs of their fear, such as, like, biting their tongue or anything that you show signs of fear of, you be turned to paper. Although, like, um... Josuke does show sign of fear one one time when he thought the paper was Koichi Hirose, but apparently that's not the case. That's not really him at all. It was just written there just to fool Josuke into showing fear, and he was dragged into paper, you know? And we have to it that Josuke managed to get out temporarily for now, but he also warns the guy to like him, you better rip me up or tell me to shreds and kill me, because the moment I get out, you're gonna get your butt handed, okay? And then Josuke, like, um... Managed to like is turn into paper the way how he managed to get out temporary is because he took a pole He ripped a pole and he tried using the crazy diamonds powers to like and bring himself out But there's a limit to that and therefore it gets inside and we had two of that Fu Fuya Yaganagami or whatever his name is, you know Ends up having a change of heart later in the future, you know but we have to it that he changes his mind when he decides to use the stand user to chase after the fear stand user, you know? But apparently, he, after much trouble on what's been happening right now, he managed, he ends up having some paper problems after finding Koichi, Hirose, and Josuke. But apparently, because like, um, that um, paper had like a lot of things in there, such as like a vending machine, and then like um, some electricity, chemical, acid, whatever you want to call it, we have to it that... Fuya tries to save him, you know, and because like uh, maybe because he wants to act all cool and so forth And maybe he wants to save his girls possibly he managed to he ends up almost losing Koichi and Josuke because they were in a shredder And he ends up showing this sign of fear the second time when he first touched his chin, you know But apparently because he did that um we have to it that like um he uses his stand he uses his stand user to open up the paper right before he turns into paper on Josuke and Koichi and we had to it that they managed to like um get out of there and right now like um, he's about to end up being in trouble and he ends up like Ko and Josuke on the other hand decides to like um beat him to a pulp but he also says that I know about your fear you have a habit of closing one eye when you're scared huh so we have to it that Josuke on the other hand like um decides to beat him up to a point where he's turned into paper somehow which is really really help to a book and <laughs> Terusuke Miyamoto or something is what it's called and therefore we have to it that um that everyone goes home quietly but right now like what makes it worse right now is that Koichi gets a phone call but possibly it might be from Rohan himself as Jotaro decides to continue like um looking for Kira, Kira's um, boy, which is not his boy, his son whatsoever, is film is planning to film him. That that's not his father or something, you know. So overall, like um, we have to it that Miyamoto, that fear stand user guy who turns people into paper when they show signs of fear, he is defeated in the end with the help of um, Fugami Yuya or something, whatever his name is. That used to be an antagonist, but he decided to be a 
supporting supporting character for now and help Josuke out, which is pretty cool, like the guy now. <laughs> and you know, Rohan's in trouble because this independent stand is now like on Rohan's back and he's trying to contact Jotaro and or and the others about like Kira, you know, as he's trying to find a way how to get so, get some clues. But apparently that independent stand is like telling him like burn those pigs, burn those pigs. It's like it's like a ghost in your head or something, you know, that kind of thing. So if anything else, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye. Toot -toot.